everybody, Dr. B, Dr. B360. Let me show you something. Here is an example of gaslighting, not at the individual level, but at the highest social level. Let's check it out. H. I spoke with leaders who took part in this study, and National Policy Director for, for the Holistic Alternative Recovery Trust, also known as HART, Dr. Jeff Smith, lists three things that make him comfortable with the use of 7-OH. He says safety studies show 7-OH has no lasting negative impacts, even at high doses. He says there no lasting negative impacts, even at high doses, higher doses. There have been more than 500 million doses taken over the last two years, and only five adverse effects have been reported. And finally, he said over 500 million doses over the last two years with only five adverse effects reported. Reports. As people report it, helping them manage chronic pain. There are some people that may have a minor headache. Uh, or may have minor gastrointestinal discomfort compared to the what happens with opioids and and the again millions of deaths in this country over the last couple decades as a result of opioid addiction we think that those kinds of very mild side effects are you know acceptable okay why is that the highest form of gaslighting at the social level it, 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 it's actually propaganda, which is called marketing, guised under clinical scientific information, utilizing a physician. By the way, that physician makes a lot more money than I do being a slave of the pharmaceutical industry. Let me answer that for you guys right away. All right, those people that say that on my social media let's you know um, that's what you have you you have it's it's really gaslighting because it is not the reality how is it done you know it's gaslighting masked uh, uh by the fact that you know it, it is clinical information which is really it's absolutely not clinical information it's using this doctor that makes it feel like it's clinical information. And what it is, it is propaganda, but it's marketing, right? And propaganda implies the fact that you know it's not true. Let's let's look at a couple of these things where he has, uh, what, where they say again, and I'll- I spoke with again. leaders who took part in this study and National Policy Director for, for the Holistic Alternative Recovery Trust, also known as HART, Dr. Jeff Smith, lists three things that make him comfortable with the use of 7-OH. He says safety studies show 7-OH has no lasting negative impacts, even at high- Even at high doses. Safety studies show it has no negative impact at, even at high doses. Um, I haven't found these studies. And when you say studies to me and you have a clinician up there or maybe a clinical scientist, you know, we're talking about peer reviewed journals. Okay. I haven't seen that study. Okay. Uh, and we certainly know it's not true. Doses. He says there have been more than 500 million doses taken over the last two years, and only five adverse effects have been reported. And finally, he says people report it helping them manage chronic pain. Okay. 500 million doses over the last two years with only five adverse effect reports. You know, you're saying these things, but, you know, you're putting a stamp of legitimacy on it in terms of truth values. And, you know, in this area, you know, truth values uh, is a, uh, you know, you, you're presuming that they looked at 500 million people and were following them. And of those 500 million people, no matter what dose they took, they didn't have any adverse effects. This didn't happen or... In the way that they're telling you this, the truth of this really has no weight because 
you're presuming it's a physician telling you this and it means something, means nothing, and there's no peer-reviewed data on what he's talking about. If there is, send it to me. There are some people that may have a minor headache uh, or may have minor gastrointestinal discomfort compared to the what he doesn't know. There's no data that shows that he did some clinical trial and has this information. This information is at best <clears throat> anecdotal and it's skewed because it is heavily sponsored by hundreds, uh, you know, a multi, you know, we're talking about almost a billion dollar industry uh, and growing. And you're going to talk about the pharmaceutical industry, there's no difference. And this doesn't make the pharmaceutical industry worse or better. It's not either or, okay? And then this comparison that he does with the, the, the harm opiates have done, it's an irrelevant discussion uh, uh, to the matter at hand. So <clears throat> when I see this, it's absolutely meaningless. And this stuff is being put out in the news. And the, the way you can get away with such things nowadays is where we are at as a society, how to the extent we accept magical thinking in a purely profit-driven um, social atmosphere. And what he's saying is nonsense. And uh, let's compare it to, uh, you know, as he's saying this, and I don't know when uh, any of this occurred. <clears throat> Nicole sent me this stuff a long time ago. I've been meaning to make the videos, but, you know, no adverse effects. All right. There's someone going through 7-OH withdrawals. Because I'm dreaming of angels all She passed out. She fell forward. And there's dozens and dozens of these videos online. Uh, you know, I think, you know, there's a couple of issues here that I really want to drive home. You know, uh, we have gotten so far away from community, c communicating truthful, meaningful information to each other, the public, uh, and the news. Uh, 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 and that's concerning as a society, right? We're sort of in a postmodern nightmare and it's quite Kafkaesque. It's another story. Maybe I'll discuss that on my podcast. But, you know, one of the things I attempt to do on this channel is sort of at least bring, shed some light in formal thinking and truthful information uh, communication regarding substances, drugs, and so forth. Doesn't mean I'm always gonna be right. Doesn't mean reality doesn't change. Doesn't mean I'm God. But this stuff here is just nonsense. And I want you to start to understand not to fall for it. Dr. B, Dr. B360, Hope you got something out of this. Give me a like and a subscribe. Put your comments below and tell me what you think. And check out my other video, maybe out now. I do a much longer dive into the current 7-OH issue and I clarify everything for you. Peace.